Hello everyone, and welcome to my Zealon in Preparation and Build Guide. In this video, I will let you know the materials, artifacts, and weapons you need to prepare for Zilonin. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. You will need 168 Brilliant Chrysanthemum for ascending her. You can just track them in-game thanks to the new feature. As she is Geo, you need the Prithiva Topaz Crystals. You can use Dust of Azoth to convert crystals of other elements to this one. You will need the warrior materials for her ascension. Her boss material will be available in 5.1 Gold Inscribed Secret Source Core. You will need 46 of them. Before moving on to her talent materials, let's talk about her talent priority. You need to max out her elemental skill first, just take it to level 10. The elemental burst can be leveled for more healing or off-field DPS. The normal attacks can be skipped. She will need the Kindling Talent Mat, which is available on Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. To crown a single talent, you will need 3 Teachings of Kindling, 21 Guide to Kindling, 38 Philosophies of Kindling, 6 Centuries Wooden Whistle, 22 Warrior's Metal Whistle, 31 Saurain Crowned Golden Whistle, 6 Mirror of Mushin, and 1.6 Million Mora. I have covered Zelonin's kit in my other video, so you can check out to know how she works. Let's first talk about her energy requirements. Zelonin can get away with around 140% energy recharge, but you can aim higher if she is used as a pure support to ensure smooth rotations. For Zelonin, there are three best weapons to use on her. The first one is her signature sword, Peak Control Song. It gives 8% elemental damage bonus for 1,000 defense she has up to 25.6%. You will need 3,200 defense to max out this effect, which is quite easy because you get a ton of defense stats from this sword and you can get more from artifacts. The other two weapons are the Freedom Sworn or the Favonius Sword. Both are pretty great. With Freedom Sworn, you need to trigger two crystallized reaction which can be done with her skill and burst and Favonius provides energy particles for the team, making your rotations smooth. You can skip the signature weapon, as Favonius can do the job, and if you wish to use her as a DPS, peak control is still the best. The Favonius weapon is still good for a hybrid build, as you can get the energy recharge and build offensive stats on artifacts. But if you want to maximize her damage, you can use any sword with defense or crit, like Araku Misugiri, Heron Gepaku Futsu, Mist Splitter, Absolution, Light of Foliar Incision, Splendor of Tranquil Waters, Flute of Espitzal, Cinnabar Spindle, etc. For her artifacts, there is only one set that you want to use on Zilonin. This set is what makes her so much better than she already is. It is the new Natlin support set, Scroll of the Hero of Cinder City. This set can provide 40% elemental damage bonus after triggering an elemental reaction. The damage bonus applies to both the elements that have taken part in the reaction. You can alternatively use Archaic Petra as it provides 35% elemental damage bonus of the crystallized shard you pick up, but it is clunky to use as you need to pick up the shard with Silonin, and it has to be the correct one. Even for an off-field DPS build, just stick with the Cinder City set as you are getting 40% elemental damage bonus boosting your overall team damage. For on-field DPS, you can use the Obsidian Codex set, or you can use Marichalzi Hunter with Furina, or Husk of Opulent Dreams. For her artifact stats, if you're using her as a pure support for the resistance shred and healing, just go with full defense build. You can use an Energy Recharge Sands, even if you are overcapping on Energy Recharge, that's fine, unless you need to maximize the healing in teams like with Furina. With Favonius, make sure to build crit rate too. Use a crit rate circlet. Try to aim for around 50 to 60% crit rate. For DPS build, you can use defense on sands, geo damage on goblet, and crit on circlet. Try to get the required amount of energy recharge from substats. After that, look for crit stats and defense from substats. And for her teams, I have covered this topic in detail in my other video. I will go over it in brief here. Silonin is just like another Kazuha. She can fit into most of the teams, even in Geo teams. She can synergize with other supports like Kazuha and Farina. Her meta team is with Nuvilet, Farina, and Kazuha. You are using three buffers here to buff the best DPS in game. You can even use her with a Geo DPS like Navia. The in team will look like Navia, Bennett, Zilonin, 
Shangling. If you wish to turn her into an off-field DPS, you can run her in mono geo teams with less than two characters from other element. And that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe for more Genshin Impact content. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.